the first video I made using the method I'm about to show you is already going viral and America I just posted it yesterday. Glam it was again. easy to make and I'll show you step by step how I did it. It's a combination of four AI tools, ChatGPT to generate the prompts and ideas, Midjourney to generate the images, Eleven Labs to clone the voices, and DID to animate the characters. The possibilities with this are endless. The first one I saw in this style was the Harry Potter by Balenciaga video. You are Balenciaga, Harry. That has over 8 million views and there were endless variations that followed. Then I saw this idea on Instagram from an account called Republicans and thought it would be perfect for this. I'm the elephant in the room and I'm not afraid to sparkle. They call it trickle down fabulousness. I'm a fiscal conservative, but I'll never skimp on style. I actually ended up speaking with them on Instagram after this took off. They were very nice. If you think these are funny, give them a follow. And there's no sort of statement I was trying to make with this, by the way. I just thought it was funny. I plan to make something aimed at the other side as well, although I think this is going to be hard to beat. Let me know if you have any ideas. But I started a separate channel for these AI experiments so I can keep this one consistent. You can see the full version over there. But the first tool is ChatGPT. You can use it for ideas, to generate prompts for mid-journey, and to come up with quotes. This step will vary depending on what you decide to create, but to get some characters, you could type what are the 10 most popular Harry Potter characters, or iconic historical figures, Marvel characters, recognizable scientists, etc, etc. I'll show you how you would do the full process for the example I gave. So who are 10 recognizable current Republican figures? Then the next step is to get their clothing. Act as a costume designer for a drag show. I want you to dress each of these characters in unique drag show attire for a performance. Just write their name and the attire. In this case, it actually came up with a clever name for each of them too. And this is enough to work from already. So I have this sample mid journey prompt that works well for these. I'll show you how to come up with prompts custom to your idea in a minute, but I asked ChatGPT to replace each field with what we just came up with. And here's examples without changing anything else so far. That was pretty easy. Some of them work, some others are funny but don't look like drag. So you'd wanna go back and forth with ChatGPT to refine and remove or improve details. I also used ChatGPT to come up with all of their quotes. It didn't like it when I mentioned face swapping with public figures, so I said they were fictional Republicans. But then the quotes it came back with were amazing. I asked it for 30 and just picked the best ones and there were some gems. GOP stands for glamour on point. Don't tread on me unless you're wearing fabulous heels. In God we trust and in glam we must. Now let's jump into Midjourney to generate the images and I'll show you another way to come up with prompts and scenes to use. This is the only step that requires a paid subscription. The best free alternatives are Leonardo.ai and Blue Willow. They're both similar to Midjourney and they're amazing at a lot of things, but they're not that great at recreating famous faces. Now if you're new to Midjourney, it's pretty straightforward to set up, but it takes a few minutes. I do have a full tutorial on that if you need help. But once you're in, you just use the imagine command and paste your prompt. And make sure you're using the right aspect ratio for the site you'll be posting to. So for widescreen like YouTube, that's 16.9. And for vertical like Reels or TikTok, that's 9.16. Then it will generate four options. These may come out great on the first try. You might have to generate a few more, or you might need to modify parts of the prompt. Most likely it will take some tweaking to get these just right. When you find one you like, click the U to upscale it for the full size version. But another tip for getting prompt ideas or recreating scenes is by using the describe command. So you would find a picture that's similar to what you want to create, type forward slash describe in Midjourney, and then select that image. Now it will give you four example prompts describing what it sees in that image. In this case, I just used the exact prompt they gave and added Trump's name and it came back pretty well. Here's some other examples from doing this just cause they're funny. You can also combine this step with what we did in ChatGPT and that should be everything you need to generate your images. That's the process if you're doing this from scratch but I didn't generate them all that way for the video I made. Just the Trump one for the intro and outro. The Republican account on Instagram generated all the rest and they were great so I used them to save some time. But from there, you'll just save your images. If they're not high enough quality right off the bat, you can upscale them. You can use a free tool like pixelbin.io for that. Personally, I have a paid tool called Runway ML. It's a full suite of AI photo and video tools I also used that to extend them for the widescreen versions. That's a really cool feature they have. Next, we need to get the voices. The best voice cloning I've come across is Eleven Labs. So just find a clip of the person speaking on YouTube, use a YouTube to MP3 downloader, then cut out a clean section of audio that's just a couple minutes long. There's free MP3 cutters online. I'll link a free option for every step of the process in the description. Now go to Eleven Labs, click Add Voice, then Instant Voice Cloning. Upload your file and click Add Voice. Then type what you want it to say and hit generate. 
Let's make America glam again. And you can mess with these two sliders. I found the best results by lowering the stability a bit. That makes them less monotone and more expressive. Let's make America glam again. And you can just keep generating until you get the perfect one. Let's make America glam again. Let's make America glam again. Let's make America glam again. Now download that and repeat it for all your characters. It's honestly ridiculous how easy it is to get a realistic voice clone. Next up, we use DID to animate them. Again, super easy and you get 20 credits for free. Click create video, then add and select your first character. For the speaking characters, click audio, then upload your file from Eleven Labs. I added a couple seconds of silence to the beginning and end of the audio to give it more time for smolders. Then click generate and in a few seconds, it's good to go. Let's make America glam again. If you're animating them without speaking, just click this add break button a few times. I made mine around 10 seconds so I could pick the best look. There's an alternative to DID called HeyGen that also works well. Sometimes DID will recognize a well-known face and not let you upload it, but HeyGen will. The animations look a bit different. Here's the two next to each other. Let's make America glam again. And from there, you just need to edit the video. There's tons of video editors. I assume most people watching this already have a preference, but if you need a free one, CapCut is great. I won't go through that process since it's fairly easy, but will look very different depending on what program you're using. But just trim them and add some zooms. And for music, I used the song that was in the original Balenciaga meme, but that is a paid service. For free options, you can use the YouTube audio library. TikTok and Reels have tons of music you can add, or you could use an AI tool like Mubert, which is free if you give them attribution. Then there you have it. If you want to see the full version, I have it on my other channel that I just started or on Twitter. It's mind blowing how easy it is to do this stuff nowadays. The implications and consequences of that will lead to some strange places, but for now, have some fun.